guys, welcome back to our channel. This is Yvonne from Ginger Tooth Rehab. And along with my husband, Chris, on our channel, we do thrift store flips. We take found items and we repurpose them and give them new life. And we share on our channel how our vision and how the process of what we do to these items to get them re to resell. We sell here locally at a local antique mall. So as a thrifter and a crafter, a DIYer, of constantly making over items, having to go to thrift stores. I share thrift hauls with you or thrift with me here on my channel. And then I share the process of how I paint these items up. And at the end of the videos when I'm painting them up, I may most of the time share prices to help other people that do this. And one of the things on my comments is you guys shared like some of the items that you were finding at Dollar Generals. There were these little birds that were Dollar and you were painting them up to look like cement or painting them up. Anyway, so you guys, I'm going to blame it on you that comment of my obsession of Dollar Generals now. Um, I never realized how many Dollar Generals there were. So when we went on our weekend away to visit Birds Gotta Fly Vintage, a business out of town that had purchased our basically our whole booth two times in a row about a year ago, I am now a little bit obsessed with stopping at Dollar General <laughs> stores and bless Chris's heart because there is a resale in it. And I actually have noticed that in my antique mall, there's a lady that she purchases things for 50% off at Hobby Lobby and she doesn't do anything to them but take, take take the price tag off of them sometimes and marks them up, backs up. Not everybody goes to a Hobby Lobby, not every. And there is another lady that I noticed she has some of the Dollar General items too and we are very, we price them the same. So I'm gonna share with you as a crafter and a DIYer, sometimes now, especially since we have two booths, you need stock. It's summertime. It takes time to thrift. It takes time to show you the thrift hauls. It takes time to make these items over and tag these items and get them into the booth. So it is a whole process. So if you can go out, I don't have a tax license. I, I'm, this is, it's becoming more of a full thing, but we still both have other jobs. So finding items. I know some people can buy it from warehouses in bulk or by Ikea, what have you. So I I found in my adventures of going to Dollar Generals that they had a farmhouse line and I absolutely loved it. And I had just shared on my channel with you um, that I had done a 75% off Hobby Lobby finds, made them over on my channel, shared with you all. I'm glad that you all enjoyed that. So I'm going to share with you the Dollar General finds that I found. Some of them I'm not even going to make over. I'm going to make sure that I take the price tag off. I'm going to increase the price by 50% and I'm going to resell them. And, and I have been doing this for a little while, a couple months now, and they sell. And it's nice because when I don't have time to flip items and get them into the booth, they're not ready to get in the booth. You got dry time, cure time, filming time, showing you all time. Um, it's nice to have filler pieces and I'm glad not it. And I find that Dollar Generals, you cannot predict what's in a Dollar General. So what one Dollar General has, the other Dollar General does not have. I had done some little Lazy Susan turntables and some cutting boards um, in a video on our channel to share with you all. I don't know if did any of you find it because I only ever found them at one Dollar General. So. And so on our thrifting weekend, Chris figures we went to probably went to more Dollar Generals than we went to thrift stores. And I usually walked out with at least one item that I know that I can resell. So, so in today's video, I'm going to share you what I found at a dollar store, what I'm, or the Dollar General, Dollar General, the big yellow sign Dollar General. And then I did find a couple clearance items at Target that I want to share with you. I love clearance items when I'm running into Target's dollar spot. I also go and look at to see if I can find some of their clearance to see if it's something that needs made over because I love when I'm out thrifting at my local Goodwill gets Target returns all the time and I always can flip those and sell those really well. So why not make a quick run through? I like to look at Chip and Joanne Gaines and the Magnolia line to see what's trendy because um, I don't really know what's trendy because I don't, yeah, I do what I like. So 
anyway, so let me share with you what I purchased from the Dollar General, share with you what I've done with it in the past, if you're new to our channel. So it's not, this won't be a huge video. I know my last thrift haul from my thrifting adventures weekend was a little bit long, but oh, I was so excited. I could not break that up to two pieces. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I found at the Dollar General. So first of all, have you all seen these little signs? So let's stay in, let's go out. This is probably the one that I sell the most. Dollar General sells it for $6. I sell it for $12. Joanne Gaines sells it for, I don't know, near 20, if not more than 20, I think. Um, Hobby Lobby now has something similar to this for $15. Um, I also have ones that say wash your hands, brush your teeth, and an open clothes one that I have found. So I was actually on the search for any of these at any of the Dollar Generals because I'm sold out. As soon as I put them in, they are gone. So I love these little, so yeah. So I'll, I mean, it's like, for me, it's like having a tax license going to the Dollar General. And it is nice once in a while to have fillers in your booth that you don't have to do anything to, but take the tag off and reprice it. So I don't know, maybe I'll get bashed for this, but you have to do what you have to do to keep your booth stocked. And you have to have things like this that I can't make myself draw people in. All, you, all it takes is, you just want somebody to come in for one item and hopefully they'll come back to your booth again. Now this, um, this is a $2 little, let's stay home. This has sold really well for me. I take this little wire off. I had thrifted some black metal wire that I change it out for, and literally I put a $5 price tag on it. Um, this one's dirty, make sure you clean them up. Yeah, you never know. And then make sure you take the tag completely off. Use a little blow dryer heat gun, little lemon oil, orange oil to make sure you get that tag off. But yeah, this, this was signed, I've sold it quite a few times. So I'm happy when I run across another one. Now they, one store had just gotten these in. These were $5. Um, it's got four holes and I think have Chris put it on a piece of wood. So that's super cute. Now one store I went into had a whole bunch of butter dishes. Look at that butter dish. Now they had another butter dish that said farm fresh. It was bulky. I buy things because I would use them in my home and I would love it. This is something I would have in my home. So $5, take that tag off. I made sure there was no chips on any of them. People are use, do use butter dishes. I hear them when I'm stocking my booth looking for butter dishes. So $5, I'll put a $10 price tag on it, y'all. So just sharing if you are out and about. Now, also look at the, can you see that? Can you see how that says pure soap? This is a wavy, nice, heavy soap dish. $3, y'all, $3. So I put a $6 price tag on it and I sell them all the time. So I bought, there's a one that's a little purplish in color that they must get, the lady says they get two packs in. Um, so I usually go for the clear. I have, and the little purplish color has some. But my heart would go for the clear, so. But it's nice and heavy. Okay, y'all. Have you seen Joanne Gaines's salt and peppers? I, I, no, I kid you not, $2. $2. So I actually retail these $5 a piece. Um, I'd only had the salt. I'd only seen the salt. And at our last Dollar General, we stopped stopped at it away home they had the pepper so I was trying to remember how in my head how many salts I had at home so yeah I mean perfect take the tag off clean them up thank you Dollar General for helping me have fillers now I had picked up they have a little utensil holder and it's blue so it's not my color but one of the Dollar Generals had this little set of um, sugar, coffee, and tea. Now I wanna share with you, blue, blue, remember blue's not my color. And another Dollar General early on, I bought a couple of these and it was oil and vinegar. Can you see that black? I did that. 
So I took Waverly chalk paint on a little sponge dabber, or makeup sponge from the Dollar Tree. I rubbed that on, cause this is a, like a chalky, and this is so smooth. I rubbed that on, rubbed it off, made sure it was off, let that sit, rub polyacrylic on it, rub that off, and there you are. Waterproof, can water it, and I got the black that I want. So I will do the same thing to that set. sharing that with you so whatever the Dollar General price is I'll just double it um, and then I one of the Dollar Generals had a couple more flowers so I picked up what they had so they had two so I'll do a couple more flowers and then one of the Dollar Generals did have one of the cutting boards these are eight dollars so Put some striping on it. I might do a little bit of more of a stamping on it, but absolutely love this find. And then this is where I look for baskets. Look at these, these are nice. This bigger basket was $10. I will put this on a plant stand. I got, if you like watched my other video where I was doing the thrift with the thrifting um, on our adventures, I picked up a couple plant stands. So I'll paint that one, this plant stand you painted, this doesn't. Um, and then I had another little lower one. This one was $8. And I tell you what guys, I put these on plant stands and stage them with a pillow and a throw. And yeah, I sell them. So I just double whatever the price of the plant stand, double whatever the price of the basket is, and that's what I sell it for. And they have been selling. Now Target had a couple little things. I spied their yellow tag. They had these two of these long serving boards. They ended up the Target's weird because it doesn't usually have the price on the tag. So um, these ended up being ten dollars. So I'll clean them up and sell them for twenty and see how they sell. And then yes, you do spy two three tier trays. Yep, you do. They ended up being 20 bucks a piece, guys. So um, I'll clean them up. There, a couple of them have a little bit of wear. The, they have a little bit of wear. So I'll sand that, clean that up black. I'm not gonna spray paint it, $34 price tag on it. Minimal work to make $14, well worth my time. So, so I like sharing, I, since I got such a good respond from the Hobby Lobby fit, flips, I thought I would share this with you all if you're looking for items to fill your space. Um, if you're a crafter, DIYer like I am, and thrift flips, it takes time to paint things. Um, so I hope this is, helps you guys out. Look at your Dollar General stores, look in your clearance areas. I mean, a little bit of paint to fix just that top, no problem. So yes, this was my collection of what I found, some extra items to be able to put in inventory. So along with what I shared with you, individual, you can add one of the extras to this. And then I'll go over to my storage um, where we sell our items that are priced and ready to go into our booths just to share a little bit with you and how we organize. So y'all don't look at this side on the left because that's projects I'm in the middle of filming and then we have bags I do take my bags and my papers to the Salvation Army in a local thrift store that recycles and reuses them not to waste because Goodwill always wraps my items and so as you see this are these are our storage um, shelves there was a business that closed that my husband's boss owned the people left these storage shelves behind so we were blessed to get two one is in our shed with the things that are ready to um, that need to be done, furniture pieces. And so, and then these boxes, you probably think, where'd you get those boxes? 
yeah, another business in town, unfortunately, one of the bakeries closed. So this is the boxes that they used to hold their bread in. So Chris brought those home. Easier way to pull and put storage for our purchased, our new goods that we have completed um, upcycling, making over, or some of the items that I had bought to um, redo. So, and then on this side, y'all, this is the item, some more of the storage. Now these shelves, you can tell the difference. We bought these off of Amazon and there just wasn't enough storage um, for the stuff that's done. And then these little roller carts, luckily my brother um, is maintenance at our local hospital and they were throwing these carts away at the hospital. So he asked me if I could use them. Thank you, brother. So on the top of the shelves, this is stuff that I kind of group things as I'm thrifting it into how I will show it, make it over in a haul. So that's how I separate things out to keep my sanity. So these bakery boxes, um, this is how I store everything and then to keep it covered so it doesn't get dusty, dollar tree shower curtains with magnets on it on these metals. So as you can see, I think you can see through the shower curtain so I don't have to go off. So here's some of the items that there's probably a little dust on it guys. So here's, and I have them like my candlesticks, my birds, um, some more of my cement and some more of my birds, some trays, got some corbels in here, some odds and ends. And then, yeah, these boxes make it really nice. There, back there, you can see some of the Dollar General signs. These were actually Dollar General calendars that were $5, and I painted the outside of them black because they were tan to make them look a little nice. And, they, yep, they did have these little recipe enamelware recipe box at the Dollar General, too. So got some of those. And then back here, those were those little oil and vinegars. And then they had... I mean, I can't, do you want to see all my inventory? Check out my booth on Facebook. But yes, just some odds and ends. Just a way, you got to, for your sanity, you got to have a way to organize your stuff so you can see. So now you can see why I pass things up when I'm thrifting. I know what's in my inventory. I can see my inventory. I know what's in the booth, what hasn't sold, what's been sitting. So I love to go thrifting with you, but when you get this much inventory, then I have to keep my sanity and it's hard to be disciplined, isn't it, when you're out thrifting. So I just wanted to share this part of the video with you. Um, if you are a reseller and you're trying to look, I know not everybody can run across a business that's like, hey, I don't want my shelves, I'm going to leave them behind and you get. Those other shelves, they work, they're not as thick and as deep, but Maybe you don't have two booths. Maybe your booths aren't as big as mine. You know, check out Amazon, check out the stores, whatever works for you to help you keep organized. Uh, that is, I'm. that's how me and Chris keep saying of how we do things is we both are on the same page when it comes to organization. So thanks for watching today's video, guys. And I have a, hope I have inspired you to look at clearance items and dollar general items in a, a whole new way. So thanks for watching today's video and if you're part of my YouTube family, thank you so much. And don't forget to watch the Bird's Eye Vintage um, adventure that started me going to all these little Dollar Generals and the second video that was part of the thrift haul of thrift with me a little bit and all the haul that I had afterwards. And this, this one would finish up our weekend trip of the Dollar Generals and some of the clearance I found at Target. So thanks again for watching guys and we'll see you next time.